Hello, this is Sherelle T. Martin with Empower to Thrive, where we empower to thrive financially in life and in business. And this week's tip is on job costing. So when you think of job costing, what do you think of? Construction and contractors, right? Well, job costing can actually apply to any business, regardless of what it is, because job costing is simply taking the cost that can be directly associated with a job and determining whether you're how profitable you are on that specific job just based on the revenues and expenses for that job. And job costing is only made up of three elements. So direct costs are costs that can be directly attributed to a product, job, or service. Um, you can also it also works great with divisions if you have if your company has multiple divisions. Basically, it's any cost that can be directly traced back to that specific product. So, for example, say that I was a home builder. Okay, I know I said well, it could be anybody, but I'm going to use construction and home builders in this example. So, if I'm building a house, then all of the costs on the salaries of everyone working on that house can, are direct costs for that house. All of the costs of the materials, the plywood, the 2 by 4s the concrete that's associated that goes into making that house are direct costs for that house. The, the, the subcontractors who I hire to lay the concrete because I don't know how to do it are costs that are directly associated with that job. So that's examples. Those are examples of job costs, of direct costs. Indirect costs is the second one. Um, the second category. And indirect costs are costs that you can't trace directly back to a specific job or product, but they are part of the makeup of your operations. So in the same example of me building this house, if I need to go out and buy a bunch of tools because my brother took all the tools across country when he moved, then the cost of these tools, hammers, nails, these are things that I'm going to use on all of the houses I'm building, not just on the one. So they can't be traced directly to one job, but what I can do is use a formula to allocate a portion of the cost to each individual house. These costs are often called construction overhead costs, or if it's not a construction um, industry type of business, then it would just be simply overhead costs. The third component is basically just your gross profit. And your gross profit is taking your revenues and subtracting the direct cost and the indirect cost from the revenue to come up with what your gross profit is. So, for example, in the same house that I'm building, when I sell the house, this, the sales price, the money I make from selling the house, is going to be my revenue. And then I'm going to subtract my direct cost and I'm going to subtract my indirect cost, and that's going to give me my gross profit. And if I take the gross profit that I make on every single house I sell, if I'm selling 10 houses and I don't really have anything else in my business. If I add up the gross profit on all 10 of these houses, it should tie back to what my total gross profit is in my business as a whole. So that's a quick lesson on how to trace your costs back to your total revenue and your total gross profit. So that is job costing. That's your tip for today. Now I want to hear from you. What industry is your business in and do you use job costing? If not, has this video, do you think that implementing job costing in your business could help add value to your record keeping? Leave your, jump on over to our blog over on EmpowerToThrive.com and leave your comment for our Empower to Thrive community. Did you like this video? If so, please subscribe and um, so you can receive these tips directly every single week and share it with your friends, fans, and followers so that they too can benefit. And also, don't forget to grab our free startup success guide and budgeting checklist. <laughs> I'm going to get it right one week, but our budgeting checklist so that you can help grow your business and take it to a new level and share it with your friends, fans, and followers also. Now, in order to thrive financially in life and in business, you must push past your fears, excel in your ability, and soar to new heights. I look forward to talking to you next week. Take care and be empowered.